Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we'll be taking a look at multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA, and that's how we'll refer to it throughout the entire course. So MFA is a security control that provides an extra level of security where after you fill in your email and password, you have to use a second device, such as a phone to confirm that you are the owner of the account to log in. MFA protects against people who have stolen your password when you're dealing with the verification method, it must be based on something you have with you that isn't easily duplicated, such as a phone, like we mentioned before. It could also be something you uniquely and biologically have, such as your fingerprints, face, or other biometric attribute. By default, both Microsoft 365 and Office 365 support MFA for user accounts using a text message sent to a phone that requires the user to type a verification code, a phone call, and the Microsoft Authenticator smartphone app. So there there are multiple ways you can enable MFA for Microsoft 365 and Office 365. The first one is with security defaults. Then we have with conditional access policies. And for each individual user account, which is not recommended, MFA is available in all Microsoft 365 plans. However, if you want to gain features such as security defaults or conditional access policies, you'll need to get Microsoft 365 Business Premium or Microsoft 365 E3. There's even Microsoft 365 E5 if you want Azure AD identity protection. So here is an example where you see my email my password, and that is called one factor. So I've confirmed my identity, like in this one case. And then you have the second factor, also known as multi-factor. That's usually what we call it. And in this case, we are sent a verification code to our phone to confirm, and that's going to let us get into the system. So that's MFA.